Good evening. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right. We got it shared. So come on in. Come on in, honey. <laughs> Let me know how you're doing. Please like and share as you're coming in or as you're going out. And welcome to the replayers. Let me get y'all on over here to what we're doing. I'm taking off the corn right now. So everything is kind of going kind of quick, okay? So I know if you're just coming on, what I'm doing is I'm making my seafood boil bags, okay? And I'm, a, I'm going to explain everything to you so that, that you know what I'm doing, or what I did, rather. Ugh. So if you want to redo it, you can. So let me take this corn out. I just steamed my corn. And now I have to steam my crab leg. So there's that corn. All right. So also in our seafood bags, we have egg. We have sausage. I baked the sausage. We have potato. I steam the potato. Okay. We have shrimp, but you put your shrimp in raw. I'm going to show you everything. Okay. And then I'll show you all the seasoning. So now let me go ahead and make sure we have enough liquid in our pot. I'm going to have to put a little bit more water in our pot so we can steam our crab legs. So I'm going to show you everything. As you're coming in, let me know how you're doing. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Miss Clark. Thank you for sharing, Chris. You always share. Thank you, girl. Hi, Teresa. Dorothy said yes from Minnesota. All right. So what I just did was behind you all is this is my steam pot. So if you're just coming in, let people know I'm steaming everything. All right. I'm steaming everything except for the shrimp. And in my steam pot, what I do is I put my, I put a little bit of my crab seasoning, like um, I do the crab oil, the garlic, but I only do a little bit and you will know why in a minute. So I do my garlic seafood boil, but like whatever you want to put into your, um, your little water, if you're steaming, just do a light seasoning because when we make the butter, the butter is going to have all the flavor. Okay, it's going to be the butter that has all the flavor. All right, so this is my little pot that I'm steaming. So I'm going to go ahead and I also put bay leaf. I did bay leaf and the garlic seafood boil. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> it's strong, <clears throat> but I didn't use a whole lot. So bay leaf and the garlic seafood boil. That's all I used in my water when I'm steaming for all of my stuff, my potatoes, the, um, and the corn, and now the crab. The eggs I boiled, and the sausage I baked. The shrimp will cook in the boil in just a minute. So let's give this just a few minutes. Oh, thank you, uh, Miss uh, Chris. Nate, I'm not married. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you're asking, am I married? No, I'm not married, but I'm not available. <laughs> hey, Miss uh, Jordan. Hey, Miss Price from Daytona Beach. Okay, so now we're about to make our butter sauce because we're going to make this sauce that's going to go into our bags, okay? My oven is preheated to 475. 475, just so you know. So let's get our pan. And we're going to come over here and we're going to start making our butter. So now we're steaming the crab. We're not going to steam it long. They're already done. However, I told you all, I like to do everything al dente. You know, just to make sure that um, Tiffany, I don't understand your question. And she said, why not put in water for flavor? I don't know what she's saying. Um, hey, Marion from Central Texas. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Marilyn. Okay, so let me focus on what I'm doing because I wanted you all to see this. I'm not cooking live tomorrow. At least I'm not planning to. So if I do, then fine. But if not, then that's why I wanted to cook live tonight, okay? So I don't know why that's coming over because that shouldn't. So for our butter sauce, we're gonna do some onions. Hold on a second. I'm gonna do some onions, I'm gonna do butter, and I'm gonna do margarine, and we're gonna do seasonings. Now, let me tell you about this margarine. Because people say, I don't eat margarine. Well, if you eat at restaurants, you eat a whole bunch of stuff that's not real, okay? So you may not think you're eating margarine, do you think restaurants are serving you butter <laughs> all the time? Like, no, that's not how that works. So I'm gonna put some butter. I'm gonna show you how I make my butter sauce. And you make yours how you want to, okay? And the crab legs are already done. So actually, I could turn it off. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. And it's just the steam, the extra uh, steam coming over on the thing, it's fine. All right, so we have one stick of butter and I'm gonna add some of my margarine as well, okay? Now, when you're making your butter sauce, you can do just butter. But butter is, is expensive. So that's why I know that there are restaurants that don't just give you butter. I know that for a fact. It saves them money. Okay, so you can ask them, you can do what you want to do. Oh, Shania, Miss, uh, uh, what's your name? I can't think. see your name, baby. This is just the, uh, the unsalted. So you can use whatever brand you want. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Sandra. And then, um, so this is Walmart, though. So I do, I always do unsalted for that. And then I shop at Piggly Wiggly. So they have this margarine, it, it looks like this. So I don't know the name, it's like Sunny something. So if you shop at Piggly Wiggly, you can kind of get that. It's really good actually, which margarine is good. That's why they sell it. I keep telling y'all stuff would not be on the shelf for decades at a time <laughs> if people weren't buying it. That's the thing. So we can down it all we want to, but they still making money. You ain't stopping them from making no money. That's one thing about it. You ain't stopping nothing. They're still selling it and they're still making money. Hi, Sheila. Thank you, Johnny. Let me see, did you emerge your crab? Emerge your crabs? No, Brenda, we steamed them, okay? I'm about to show you what we're doing. So we steam the crab legs very shortly, maybe what, what y'all, three to five minutes. We steam them there. I steam some potatoes and I'm gonna show you everything again if you're just coming on. We steam the corn and I did do frozen corn. So you can do fresh if you want, but I steam the corn. Now we're making our butter that's gonna go into our bag, okay? Now, depending on how many bags you're making is how much butter you wanna make. So we did butter, we did margarine, we have onions. We gotta let those simmer. But I'm gonna add some paprika. Okay. We're gonna add in our garlic seafood oil. Whatever kind of seafood uh, seasoning you like, you wanna add that in. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this because I don't like a lot of salt. So, that's good. Ooh, that's child, that's too much for me. Now I have this seasoning or this thing as well, this oil, I'm not gonna add any of that, okay? We have enough sodium with that garlic seafood boil. They do the same thing. They're both crab boils, okay? And then we're gonna add in some Old Bay. And because we're adding Old Bay, that's why you really don't need too much of that because Old Bay has salt too, okay? So we're just making our butter sauce. And my kids like lemon pepper, so I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon pepper. 
And we're going to turn that down. I just wanted the onions to kind of marinate some or saute, whatever you want to call it. You can add in, if you want a sweeter um, version of uh, butter, you can add in some brown sugar. That's totally optional and up to you. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. I'm adding a little bit of my lemon pepper. And I have this one too. I have the Old Bay lemon pepper, but I'm going to do the Badia today. Because I already did the Old Bay, um, you know, the Old Bay regular. Okay. And you just want to turn it down, which I did, to a lower heat. We're going to let that kind of simmer down a little bit. Again, I have my oven preheated to 475, okay? So I wouldn't go under 400 because what you want to do is, if you're doing shrimp and things like that, you want to make sure things are cooking um, and, you know, cooking together and everything. But when I show you all this, some of you all, many of you all, are going to stop going out to eat. Alicia said, did you use garlic? Garlic what, baby? I use garlic in the, um, the flavoring. I don't know what you're asking me. Um, Lisa said, where did you find the steamer pan? I got that. That's all clad. I got that from uh, likely Home Goods. I want to say Home Goods. So let me show you all how simple it is to put this together. So we're going to turn this off. This is also off. And we have everything over here ready to go, right? And if you're just coming on, hello, honey. I'm in my pajamas, <laughs> as you can see. But let me show you this, because I'm not coming on camera. All right. Let's put this together. Because people always say, why do you don't show yourself? I'm going to be honest with you all. I feel like I have a cooking page on this page. So it's like the focus is to cook. You know, that's the focus. All right, so we have our oven bags. So I have these. And then I, I bought these today from Win Dixie. I'm gonna open these and see. Cause this one has a tie to it. I tie my bags up either way. And you will see what I'm saying once I do what I do. So let me see what they talking about. Oh, oh, they do have a tie, okay. Well, maybe this one will be better. All right, so what you need is your oven bag. Mm, I don't like the way this one is, okay. So let me take this one. It's okay, these are the ones I bought today. So those are these, which is fine. I literally bought them today, just trying to see what kind of bags they were. And they're a little too, um, what do you wanna call it? Just at the top, they're too top tight fitting or something. But with these, the Reynolds, you will see what I'm talking about. Do you see how these are not so tall? They're like a good, a good uh, height or whatever you want to call it, and it has a nice little thing up here. So I like these better. So this is the one I use normally. So let's use that one. And again, it's just the Reynolds oven bags. They don't pay me for none of this. So if you want to try it, it's these, okay? So let's take our oven bag. Our oven is set to what? Four, 475, 475. All right, we have all our ingredients ready. So all we have to do now is put everything in. Let me get my ladle, because I'm going to need that for the butter. The butter we put in last. Wait till y'all see. Look, look at this butter. Just look at it. Huh? Just look at it. <laughs> Thank you for telling me what, uh, Marion. Okay. Now, so all you got to do now is put your stuff in. So let's just start with, it doesn't matter really. Um, Let's put a little butter in first. How about that? We just gonna layer everything. So let's put a little butter. Mm-hmm. With the onions. Now these bags are costing y'all the arm and the leg out here. But mm -mm, not for me. I'm not gonna be able to do it. 
So that's one, two, three, four. I'm going to make y'all a $200 bag right now. So we got five pieces of corn. Mind you, I got this corn at Walmart, maybe three, four dollars. And I got like 24 ears of corn, mind you. Y'all know I'm very budget friendly. Can y'all see in there? Okay, good. Now we got our corn. I mean, um, our potatoes. Now the potatoes I steamed also, they're very, they're not um mushy, but like they're good. They're where they need to be as far as for a boil. So I'm gonna put those in there. Just spread them around, honey. And then I bake my sausage. Now this is three different ty types of sausage. We have the beef smoked sausage. We're gonna put some of that in there. We have another type of sausage. I can't remember which one this is. So we're gonna put that in there too. And we have another type of sausage, which I can't recall right now. So I have all kinds of sausage in my refrigerator. So I just know I did all three. And then we have eggs. Now we like eggs in our, our boils, but you don't have to use eggs, okay? So that's up to you. I know people ask, what about the eggs? What you do is you boil them, then you peel them, and then they actually soak up that flavor. Um, you just eat it with the butter. It's just good. I, that's all I can tell you. I can't really tell you anything else as far as like why it's just what we do. One, two, three, four, five. We got six eggs in there, honey. Okay, now. Can y'all see in there? Okay, we got a good little thing going. All right, now we're going to add in our crab leg. So you know they only want to give you one crab leg. One crab leg is $40. But guess what? We're going to have four. Why? Because we can. Because crab legs are on sale for $9.99 a pound. So you can choose <laughs> to go and spend all your money or you can make it at home and you can, honey, feed everybody, okay? And last but not least, when I do my boils like this or my bags, whatever you wanna call it, I don't cook my shrimp. I leave them raw and then we put them in like this. So one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. If y'all only knew how inexpensive all of this was, you will be shocked. Okay? You will be so shocked because they're, they're charging you so much. All right. So y'all saw all of that go in there. Now, last but not least, We're gonna add the rest of that. All you do is add the rest of your butter. I'm gonna try to just pour it if they'll let me. All right. So you got your seasonings with your butter. Woo! All that goodness going in that bag, right? Now, the last thing I would add is a little bit of parsley flake, but y'all know that's just for, you know, it's not for anything other than what it is, color. Ooh, that's a little bit much, but that's okay. Wait till it come out. All right, now what you want to do is you take your bag and we're going to shake it. We're going to do this. Look. Right? Look at that. Let's see if I can tie this thing around it or make it go in there. This is a tie that was from one of those other bags. Maybe I can use that. Look at that. Now this is going into the oven for just a few minutes. So give me just a second. We're on 475 because I want y'all to see this. 475, we're gonna make a little bit more butter just in case. And we're gonna give that, I'm gonna give it 12 minutes, if it needs that. All right. 
Oh, give me a second, you all, because I need to wipe off this stove. We're going to make more butter. So let me bring y'all over here. We're going to make more butter. <laughs> Sharon say yes, marinate all the ingredients. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. I'm sorry I haven't seen y'all comments because you all were face down at the boil. Um, I love you too, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. Uh, Glenda says she makes her own all the time. Hey, Miss Feck. I want you all to try this. I'm telling you what I know. I would never tell you all to not go out to eat, but I want you to try this. Now, let me wipe this stove. We're going to make a little bit more butter. And you don't need it. I'm going to tell you something. Hold on, because I got the window open and I'm running water. But where is my uh, washcloth? Uh, I mean, dishcloth. Oh, there it is. It was hiding behind these other bags. We need to put those up. I'm telling you, you're in for a treat and your family is going to love it. They gonna love it. That's all I can tell you. And y'all see, I went very light on the seasoning because I don't like a lot of salt. So if you follow my recipe, <laughs> you know that. So if you're doing a whole lot, like if something is salty, you ain't make it like I make it, honey, because I don't like a lot of salt. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to add salt when you're dealing with me, but you're going to have the flavor. So my recipes will have the flavor, but I don't do a lot of salt. That's how I am. Oh, no, these are oven, these are oven bags and ties. So nothing is going to melt. They're actually made to go into the oven. And all of that. So you don't have to worry about that. So let me show you again what I'm using. I'm using these. So they come with their own bags and ties. Now if something does burn or do something. It's because they didn't make their product the way they should have made it. So, But I haven't had an issue yet. But I want you all to see when this comes out. Um, hold on. Somebody said, do you, can you freeze? Um, I'm sure you can, but girl, stuff don't be lasting over here. And let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. <laughs> Look at it. Y'all see that? We about to take it out. I have a timer set. We about to take it out. Um... It doesn't take long at all because that's why we steamed everything. So when you steam everything, don't put all that extra seasoning. Don't do all that stuff. I did bay leaf and I did a very little of the uh, garlic uh, boil. That way, everything is, you know, mildly flavored. And that way, when you make your butter, you can really enjoy it. Because see, with that butter, it's going to have all that flavor that you want. Okay, so let's make a little bit more butter just in case we need it. That's what I'm gonna do. Again, I use margarine and I use butter. Okay, so you don't have to use margarine. Margarine is good and it sells very good. <laughs> so, and it's gonna sell whether you buy it or not. So I use that for flavor. I use it for sodium. I use it for a few different things actually. And then I use butter as well. So we'll do both of those. And for this butter, for the color, I use my paprika. And then for the flavor, I'm gonna use a little bit of my um, lemon pepper obey, okay? Thank you, Tracy. I did, Miss Paige, I, I shared everything that I did on here. You need me to do more than that, sweetheart? What you need from me? Email me if you need something more, okay? So I'm using paprika for my, uh, my color, excuse me. My email address is cookingwithaisha at yahoo.com. Cookingwithaisha at yahoo.com. Men, if you're trying to talk, 
please don't email me. I'm not going to respond. If you have a question about a recipe or anything I can help you with, then you can email me there. <laughs> if you need prayer or something like that, email me. Do not email me if you're trying to talk to me. I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to do it. I'm just letting you know. Don't waste your time, honey. All right, we're about to take that seafood boil bag out. Y'all about to see it. And somebody is about to make it because it's going to be that amazing. All right, let me put this other butter up. All right, we got our lemon pepper. Oh, babe, I'm going to put this stuff right here. I'm not gonna put any more onion. We have enough onion in our um, in our bag. And I'm gonna tell you what happened today. So I have a big cooler over here of raw oysters. So the kids don't want um, seafood tonight. It's like I, I did it for you all because I said I was gonna make it tonight. And then I also did it for those that wanna make it next weekend and stuff like that. So I'm making one big bag so they can kind of just pinch off of it because we have raw oysters. We all eat raw oysters. I'm going to show you all. We all eat them. So I have a big cooler of them. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and if you follow me, you know me. If you follow me, you know me. You know I'm a big seafood person. But, like, literally, I have a cooler full of oysters. Like, look, I have a whole cooler full of oysters, okay? <laughs> look, I have a whole cooler. So, I was like, uh-uh. So, no one's hungry in the capacity of me making all of the seafood boils. I'm going to turn this down and hold it up. Sit that right there. All right, let me put it back over here. So we ate, we ate a lot of raw oysters today. I shut them like a pro. So what I'll probably do is they're not really that salty. So I may just go ahead and shuck the rest, you all, and make fried oysters. Thank you, Andre. I may make just fried oysters. All right, we're about to take this bag out. Y'all ready? Bring y'all right here so y'all can see everything from everything. Now we need something to put that on. Let me see. Let's get our... All right. It's ready. And everything is already ready. Just want to give it a few minutes to, whew, to do what it do. All right, let me bring y'all over. Can y'all see? So all you have to do is cut that bag open, honey. However you choose to do so. Look at that. Hold on, let me take y'all off this, this little stand, child. I want y'all to see up in this bag. Your shrimp are done. Child, I have to try to get up under there to show y'all. Y'all see that? Do you see it, though? I can't make it up. So there is a, um, your sauce, you have some good butter sauce down here at the bottom of this bag, but you just have to, this, normally the bags aren't this full, right? Normally you have like maybe one crab cluster and da 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 So because the bag is so full, it's hard to kind of see the bottom, but your butter is down there. You can see it. Your butter is down there and you can dip your ingredients in your butter. It's just, it's kind of hard to see it. But I wanted you all to see how to make it, okay? This is how easy this is that you can do at home. And again, I will never tell you not to go out anywhere, but you watch me make this on live. 
You saw how easy it was. And I assure you that you can make it better at home. So go out, enjoy your people. Enjoy eating out. But baby, I never pay for one of these. I'm making this right at home. Okay? And I mean, everything is just so good, so delicious, so buttery. Okay? So if you have any questions... I don't know how long we put it in. You only need to put it in like 10 to 12 minutes. Like literally. Do y'all see how the shrimp cooked? Look. Perfect. The shrimp cooked. We put it in raw. Hmm? So any questions, just email me at cookingwithaisha at yahoo.com. We got a lot of onions in there, honey. Butter. We got that crab. We got potatoes. We got all kinds of stuff down there. Look at that potato down there. We got potatoes. We got corn. Everything you want is in there, honey. We got that shrimp. And it's very flavorful. Okay. <laughs> Normally, I don't make them this big, y'all. So, let me just say that. Normally, I do not put this many crab leg i literally just did this tonight because i knew i wasn't cooking live tomorrow and the kids want actually their bags tomorrow so tomorrow it'll be like one crab cluster you know one potato one corn but i wanted you all to see how to make it tonight because i'm not cooking live tomorrow that's all so now tonight if they you know want to they get hungry they can snack off this does that make sense all right, so thank you all for hopping on. Oh, there's a timer, but we already took it out. Thank you for hopping on. Thank you for liking and sharing. If you try this, I promise you, just like any of my other recipes, honey, you're going to be very glad you did. It's going to save you money, and it's just going to be one more thing <laughs> that you, your family will be happy that you make right at home. I love you guys. Be safe if you go out tonight. And I'll see some of you all on, I'll see some of y'all in the morning because we're still doing our devotions. But other than that, I'll see you all on Monday, okay? Cooking with Aisha, I'll see y'all on Monday. Love you guys. Have a good night.